Hello YouTube, James here, and today I'm going to have a project. It's not much to do with snakes, but uh, it's going to be a shed project. And as you can see right here, my pipe collection, I have a lot more pipes that cannot fit in my cabinet. So um, I'm going to be building my own cabinet, pretty much the same as this and going to be wrapping it in snake shed um got another big huge full shed off of precious and see maybe if i could wrap it in shed and see how it turns out and for the glass i was thinking on maybe etching in the glass like a snake picture or something Something kind of cool to try, but yeah, just some of my pipes, and I have a lot more. There's some that are in my closet. I got some here, and I just want to build another cabinet to hang to display them, because got some pretty nice, pretty looking pipes, and some just sit here dangling, and sometimes I'm kind of scared that they might fall when I open it so just want to um, make another cabinet and take you along on the process of the build of it hope you enjoy the video alright and for the cabinet I wrote down all the measurements of the height the width the depth and um, I have just all kinds of scrap pine and some maple from um, maple front faces from cabinets that I got from a neighbor and be using that probably for the front face of the door but going to get all this stuff cut to the measurements and assemble the box frame. All right, YouTube, and I got the frame of the box done. I pocket hole jigged it. Um, I was just gonna glue and clamp it, but in the process of speed, decided just to use pocket holes. And I haven't even had a chance to play with my pocket hole jig that I picked up at Harbor Freight, so. Gave me a chance to mess with it, see how it worked, it done a good job, nice and strong. And then I got the shelves cut out for the bottom rests for the pipes. These will be the shelves for that. And then these thinner ones are for the stems, which will be like that. And just gotta get these drilled up, mounted, and as you can see by this scrap piece of wood, it got the project of me testing out on the YouTube play button, so just have to sand that down and go at it and redo it when I put on the new sheds around it, but so far, turning out pretty good. Um, the back piece I accidentally cut a little too short in um, cutting a little too short for height. So see if I can find another piece and do a correct cut this time. got the frame done and wrapped in the shed as you can see kind of hard to keep it tight with the glue and letting it dry but it don't look too bad and the shelves I routed out spots for the pipe rest 
and kind of mush the shed in. I don't know if you could really see, but kind of mushed it in and tried to keep it tight, but and the stem holder got them done and wrapped. And as you can see from this, this is from the shed from the albino Burmese. And this is the shed from Retic. And the boa. So got a couple different contrasting sheds for it and then be getting these set in and secured and for the next part we'll be putting the back piece on and making the door. All right and now the pipe rack is pretty much all done. The extra pipes that I had lying around and this bottom row right here is what I got. Most of them were my grandpa's pipes and my uncle. So I got inherited these bottom pipes and some of my pipes. But there's that. And I got the glass etched with the Dremel. And as you can see, I hit the milestone of 350 subscribers. So this is kind of my build for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And the back piece, I have some oak hardwood flooring that... Pulled out of my dad's house and replaced some of the planks and either because they got scratched or whatever. So I have a whole bunch of this oak and stuff to do some projects with. So I decided I got it glued up and run it through the table saw, cut it to the dimensions and it'll be the back piece for the pipe rack and the door. Just got to get it finished and wrap it in shed, put it together, and show you guys the reveal of it, but liking how it's turning out. Alright, and I didn't get a chance to make all the videos in part of the build. It, I worked on it in sections and then got busy and didn't record, but I'm done. It's hanging, and... I made it for my YouTube subscribers and thank you for your support and encouraging me to have fun little builds but as you can see the snake shed pipe rack is complete and I don't know how well <clears throat> it's showing up but it's what I done with the glass engraver to engrave the glass to match the same kind of pattern as that one and cool little snake handle I cut out on the scroll saw and there's a little bit of every snake shed on here from the tiger retakes to some of the different ball python morphs as you can see by different colors in their shed got the normal retic some boas another tiger retic and then precious the big albino burmese is what encases the whole outside frame and some of my pipes that needed a home finally got a home and i like the way it turned out it adds a little more character compared to my other pipe rack that has all my other pipes but I'm happy with the build, looks good sitting side by side, and thank you all for your support, encouraging me with all these fun little build builds, and have to come up with another one, sorry it was so late, it was for the 350, just busy, 
with the snakes and other things and um, trying to get it before it hit the 400 mark but YouTube you have a good day thank you all for your support and remember like subscribe comment and have a good day